It's Japan's most successful film ever. It's won numerous awards around the world. You have to hold your breath while we cross the bridge. And captured the imaginations of audiences young and old. The director, Miyazaki, he's great. I mean, this world he created is amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous and fun. It's funny. The man behind the magic is Hayao Miyazaki, a man admired by animators for his unique vision. Miyazaki is one of the greatest filmmakers living today. He is one of my heroes. I thought Spirited Away was just like a, an explosion of Miyazaki's imagination. <laughs> now step behind the scenes. Maybe this theme park's still in business. Let's go. See the master at work and experience the art of Spirited Away. Jason Marsden. I provided the voice for Haku in the English version of Spirited Away, an amazing film by Hayao Miyazaki. This film has truly captivated audiences all over the world. When director John Lasseter saw this film, he knew it had to come to America. Walt Disney Studios is proud to present this very special film. You shouldn't be here. Get out of here now! What? It's almost night. Leave before it gets dark. Spirited Away is the story of a young girl trapped in a mythical world who must find the inner strength to survive. She quickly discovers that her only hope is to get a job at the bathhouse, a sort of retreat for mythical spirits. Out of my way. She is tossed suddenly into a rather alarming situation where she's either going to get chewed up and spat out or make up her mind to get down to business and survive. And you see the most incredible range of funny spirits coming in to get baths and take care of themselves. And he has such charming characters. The soot balls. I've never oh. seen anything like that. You fall in love with those things. Hey, you runt! You want to turn back into soot? Believe it or not, the main character, Chihiro, was inspired by a real little girl, the daughter of one of the director's friends. She's kind of a lazy bum, which is exactly the way that my favorite 10-year-old girls are. You lazy bum, I want to tell them. But I know their inner resources are as rich as Chihiro's. Miyazaki's characters sometimes reach beyond the sense of vision, like the stink spirit, a dripping mess of a creature. You know motion pictures don't have smell, but boy, if it did. And what we really find out is he's a river god, and he is so injured by pollution that he comes to be rejuvenated. Many audiences think that the river spirit and his counterparts were inspired by Japanese legend. But according to Hayao Miyazaki, the creatures in this movie were actually inspired by real life experiences. I cleaned a river once my local river, and there really was a bicycle. It was stuck in there. Ten of us wrapped a rope around the bars and slowly pulled it out. We really cleaned up the river, and the fish are back. And that's why I added that scene. Even No Face, the spirit who tempts the bath worker's greed, comes from the real world. In fact, the character No Face is said to be autobiographical. In my experience, many of the characters portray and contain positive elements of the man Miyazaki-san. No Face is desperate to enter somehow into the hearts of others, but really doesn't have the ways or means to do so. Hayao Miyazaki has created a film full of sights, sounds, and story. A world that has inspired many of today's greatest animators. In America, animation is the product of many different minds. Let's see, we got the writer who writes, the director who directs, the artist who draws. Well, in Miyazaki's case, he does it all. From writing, to directing, to drawing, it's all a product of his imagination. He personally draws detailed storyboards of the entire film. And it doesn't stop there. He's even written song lyrics. 
He storyboards the entire film himself. He essentially writes in pictures, and, and even he isn't sure exactly where it's going to go when he starts. I think of him as a great conductor, and he is putting his vision and uh, a piece of himself up on, onto the screen on every film that he, he uh, creates. He's an auteur, so you really have one man's vision communicated up on the screen. My shoes were gone. It's not just Miyazaki's unique vision that other animators admire. It's also his realism, which is a product of his attention to detail. There's a scene where uh, Shihiro puts her feet into her shoe. And um, it would just be a very simple scene. You, know, you might just animate it, and she puts her shoes on and moves, runs off. But he's observed the way a real little girl does it. She doesn't just put her feet in her shoes. She makes sure that it's snug and tight. And in this scene, you can see her kind of tap her toes into there, and then she goes running off. And it's these little just magic moments that convince you that this is not an Im imaginary world. This is real. You have to hold your breath while we cross the bridge. Even the tiniest breath will break the spell, and then everyone will see you. Of course this film is fantasy. Of course, it's a complete fabrication. But within the context of that fabricated reality, I feel like I didn't lie to the kids. Hold it. These arbitrary imaginary rules and that business of holding your breath and your life depends on it, you know, rings terribly true to children, but not to adults. I don't think he's ever lost that ability to think and see from a child's point of view. Whether it's creatures soaring through the air, antique airplanes, or fantastic new flying machines, Miyazaki's films always feature at least one flying sequence. Flight is such a prevalent theme through all of his films. There's something uh, I don't know, spiritual, it's liberating, it really lifts the audience up. 